No, I don't. Well, I mean, I, I mix a lot of colors. I don't make my own. I don't make colors. Yeah. I don't have that kind of time or dedication. So I no, and, but then I, I mean, almost everything I do, I go in and mix my own. Like, you know, I mix color first. Oh, the two I did. I, he's in the piece, but I, you know, I, I, if my kids are around, like, oh yeah, you know, I'll, I'll tell you where he is. But if my kids aren't around, oh no, I can stay the crap out of me to put um, uh, Matt Groening's um, Three-Eyed Fish, uh, Blinky, in his um, in the mural that I was painting at the time. I said, no, 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 I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put Matt Groening's fish into one of my murals. I'm not gonna steal that. But I was doing cartooning for one of the local papers. I've been doing some different things. He just kept on me, kept on me, kept on me. I finally relented. Didn't tell him. Redesigned the fish to kind of what Bob is and hit it in the mural. A 20-foot mural could have covered this little tiny fish with a pencil eraser, just a tiny little thing. All I heard about from everybody. Oh, we found the three-eyed fish! Ah, oh, crap. Okay, great. So then I started hiding it in every mural that I did from then on in. It became like a thing. You gotta find the, find the fish. And then, of course, when I started doing the pen and ink, it just had to keep going and, to and become part of that whole genesis of putting the fish in all of the pieces. So that's kind of where it came from. So way back a long time ago. 